video I'll be showing you how to downgrade your the iDevice from version 7.0 beta back to 6.1.3 so I'll be using an iPod 5th generation as you can see in iTunes and as you can see it's iOS 7 and I'll show you on my iPod that proof that it's iOS 7 settings general about as you can see it is indeed iOS 7 so first you'll need to connect your iDevice to the computer which I already have done and you'll need to download the IPSW that you'll be downgrading to in my case iPod 5th generation 6.1.3 and once you're done doing that you can go into iTunes and then you'll need your keyboard so if you're using Windows, hold Shift and click Restore iPod. If you're on Mac, hold Option and click Restore iPod. So I'll do that right now. So hold Option, Restore iPod. And you might get this error message. iTunes cannot restore the iPod Touch because Find My iPod Touch is on. So I purposely did this so I can show you how to disable it. So go into your device and go into your iCloud settings so scroll down iCloud as you can see and then scroll down to you see find my iPod touch go to that and turn it off now I'll ask you for your Apple ID password which I'll put in right now and then tap turn off and it'll be turned off so now that we're done that part so you can now turn off your device and do like I told you that you hold down option or Windows users hold down shift and click restore iPod now it should work scroll down till you see your 6.1.3 restore IPSW and click on it and click open and I'll say iTunes will erase and restore your iPod to iOS 6.1.3 and will verify the restore with Apple. So if you're going to do this, I suggest you back up your device through via iTunes or iCloud, which I already done ahead of time to save time. So now I'll just continue with the restoration process. So click restore. And I'll say extracting software and I'll begin the restore. As you can see, I have iOS 7, and the reason why some of you might want to downgrade is because the iOS 7 is a beta, so it'll, have, it'll be kind of buggy for some applications, and you might want to downgrade. And it is possible, and I'll show you proof that it works in this video. So now it's preparing your iPod for a restore. Now it's waiting for the iPod, which is rebooting right now. And now it's saying to connect to iTunes, and it's already connected, so we'll just continue. Now it's preparing iPod for restore while the iPod is rebooting. Now it's waiting for the iPod to finish rebooting, and now as you can see, the thick bar which we had for iOS 6 which shows that it is downgrading to iOS 6.1.3 and as if you might have seen my iOS 7 video the bar was thin to show us iOS 7 but this bar is the thick bar that I was talking about which shows that it was iOS 6 so now it's waiting for the iPod and it'll start to downgrade Now it's preparing the iPod software for restore. Verifying the iPod restore. And as you can see the bar has started going. And it's restoring the iPod software. And 
and the bar has started in iTunes. And now it's verifying the iPod software while it continues the bar on the iPod. Now it's restoring the iPod firmware and as you can see the bar has finished and soon will be successfully downgraded. Now your, it says that your iPod has been restored to factory settings and it will be restarting so please leave your iPod connected so keep it connected to the computer and it will restart and show up in iTunes soon. And the bar has started again. And now it says welcome to your new iPod. So you can either set up as new or you can restore from backup which is, I, which is what I'm going to do once the iPod reboots. And now it's on the setup screen so I'll just turn it off and continue with my restore from the backup. And it will say that your iPod cannot be restored because the software on the iPod is too old. To restore this iPod from this backup, you must first set up the iPod as new and restore the software from the latest version. Because this backup was when I had from iOS 7. So I must choose something from before when I had iOS 6. Or I can just go and set up as new and then do the setup. So I'll just set it up as new. And I'll say syncing the iPod and backing up. And I'll say sync with iTunes, get started, and there we go. iPod iOS 6.1.3 as we planned. And I'll turn it on and it'll be on the configuration screen. So I'll just choose my network, enter the password. and it will ask for location services, I'll just enable it and Apple ID, sign in and now terms and conditions, agree and it will set up my Apple ID use iCloud iCloud backup and find my iPod touch I'm going to use that too and my iMessage and my FaceTime Siri, you Siri and diagnostics don't send and start using my iPod Touch. And as you can see, it's iOS 6 again. I'll go to settings to prove it. General about. As you can see, iOS 6.1.3, the firmware that it was before we upgraded to iOS 7. And in iTunes, it says iOS 6.1.3. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And my Twitter, Facebook, and my site will be in the description along with a site where you can download your. IPSWs for the downgrade for your device and thanks for watching once again.